Hey guys, welcome back to Total Carp Fishing TV. Today, we're gonna to do a bit of an unboxing. We're taking a look at the Tracker X-Trail T1 Barrow. And before I start, yes, I know it's just another barrow. There are plenty on the market, but for those of you out there who want to know a bit more about this product, then I'm gonna tell you all about it. So, let's crack on. So, first things first, as you can see, it comes in a reasonably small box, which is a good start. So, let's get it open and see what's inside. I always like doing a good unboxing video because it means ugh, you guys know that we've never seen the product either. So we can talk and figure it all out together. You love it. I love to see it. All right then, there we are. Let's get this bad boy open, see what's inside. Now, as you can probably see, it's very, very compact. And I'll explain a little bit more about the barrow as we go on, but being a compact barrow is gonna have its benefits for certain anglers out there, particularly those who don't have a large vehicle, like a van that they can just wheel the barrow in with all the stuff on. This packs down, really compact. So if you do have a small car, a Corsa, a Fiesta, whatever it is, you'll be able to get this into your vehicle, no problem, alongside all your fishing stuff. That's the first positive about this Sparrow. So, I'll get all the bits out. That is the underbag. And everything is nice and neatly wrapped up. Now I'm gonna try and do this without ripping too much. I'll tell you a little bit later on why that is. There's the arms. The handles, a few bolts in there. A wheelbarrow is not complete without the wheel. And the main body. Oh, an unboxing always sounds full at the beginning until you start unboxing it all you realize how much packing there is on everything. What I'll do is I'll get all the wrapping off the barrow itself and then we'll jump straight back into it. So bear with me. Right, everything is out of the box. So let's chuck that to the side. Right, so I'm gonna put it all together, starting off with the wheel. I'm gonna pop the axle through the wheel. And this is also a nice lightweight wheel. So unscrew this, slide this through, put the washer back on, through the wheel, washer on the other side, and then screw it so it's all nice and secure. There we go, lovely jabbly. Now I'm gonna take the frame, flip it upside down because this will make things a lot easier in the long run. Pop those legs up and then we're going to fit the wheel into position. Now there are two little screw holes here. They need to be facing the front so you can easily add the screws into place to secure them onto the, the frame. Slide them on. Take a couple of these bad boys and then simply secure it into position. Now whilst I'm doing this, there isn't a lot of elements to the barrow itself. So if you are an angler who needs to set up the barrow every time they go fishing, you don't have to worry with this one because it doesn't take very long at all. Now, obviously it's gonna be a bit slower than if you were wheeling a barrow straight out your van, then you can go off. But in the grand scheme of things, this isn't gonna take very long at all. So you've got nothing to worry about. All right, so flip it over. Then we've got the base, which is spot on. Now, one nice thing about this barrow is that the front section actually extends. So if you do have a bit of extra gear that you need to take, then you can extend it to make sure everything fits on nice and securely. But what this does mean is that we need to add a couple more screws to the bottom to make sure this bit is secure. Otherwise, that front is gonna fall out as you're walking around the lake, which would be not ideal. So we'll pop them in there. 
Next thing I'm gonna add is the handles. Now you'll see that the handles actually have a slight curvature to them and you want the handles to be slightly facing out from the barrow. So we'll slot them in nice and simply. Again, securing them with the remaining screws. Nice and simply. Easy as that. So that is pretty much the base of the barrow done. Now the barrow itself is constructed out of steel and finished in this lovely green. But this isn't all. We've now got the heavy duty bag to fit to the bottom. Now, although this isn't gonna take me very long to do, we might do a bit of post editing, speeding up, so we're not boring you lot. And there we go, that is all fitted. Didn't take me very long at all. And the nice thing about this is you can leave it on. That's it now. You don't need to keep taking it off, putting it back on. When you pack it away, it all folds down really well, all compact so it can fit into the motor nice and easily. Now, a little bit more about the barrow itself. As I mentioned, it's constructed of a steel frame and finished in this lovely green. The front part, now the reason this extends is so you can counterbalance the weight so when you push in, it feels light and it's not gonna to feel too much of an effort trying to get around the lake. At the front, you've got a lightweight, quick release pneumatic wheel. It's fairly straightforward to be honest, it's a wheel, does what it needs to do. And then at the back, you've got some nice comfortable grips on these handles that are nice and wide so that it gives you plenty of room to put all of your equipment onto the barrow. Now there are plenty of other barrows out there that are a bit more suited to anglers who have got a lot of gear to take, maybe for a longer session some of those being in the tracker range. But this barrow is particularly suited for those who are going on shorter sessions or anglers who like to be mobile, not taking a lot of equipment. Or if you're an angler, like I mentioned earlier, who has a small vehicle and needs everything to be nice and compact so they can get all their equipment into the motor, then this is also perfect for that. As you've seen, it compacts down really, really small. And what I'll do towards the end of the video, I'll take it all back apart, put it back in the box and show you how easy it is to take it all apart. Another nice feature about this barrow is that it's got rotating mud feet. So if you do put the barrow down on a bit of a slope, then these feet are gonna stay flat, ensuring that the barrow stays nice and stable. Now, before I show you how easy it is to pack away, some of you might be wondering why I've set it up on a mat and not shown you how it's used in a real life situation. Well, it's an upcoming competition prize and I didn't want to get it dirty for the lucky winner. So for those of you in the comments who are moaning that I'm not using it in a real life situation, well, it's only going to benefit the one lucky winner. So you should be really thanking me. So let's get it packed down, get it back in the box, get it ready for that lucky winner. And there you go. As you can see, that's packed down, super compact and would fit into the back of any small car alongside all your fishing equipment. Now I'm gonna actually have to take these back off to get it in the box, otherwise it's not gonna fit in there because that's how it came. That's not my fault. So there we go. That is the Tracker X-Trail T1 Barrow. Lovely stuff. If you want any more information on this Barrow, then head to Tracker's website, which is www.trackerproducts.com.